Hi everyone, this is Jack with Computers. Today we're checking out the Razer Chimera headset for PC and Xbox 360. Like the Logitech wireless headset F540 we checked out earlier, this is also wireless 2.4 GHz and stereo sound. So let's take a closer look and see how it stacks up. So Razer takes a bit of a different approach with their packaging. Most companies will totally box up their package. Razer wants you to see their products. So here you can see the actual charge station or the base station, docking station, whatever you like to call it, and the headset itself on the front. Get a little Xbox 360 uh, functionality tag here. Uh, on the back, you get some pictures and whatnot. You get some specs. There you got 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Wireless range is about 33 feet or 10 meters. Frequency response to standard 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. You have uh, 50 millimeter drivers, which are 10 millimeters larger than um, the Logitech headset. And you get about 12 hours out of a charge, which is nice too. Flexible uh, microphone boom that's detachable. And independent volume and audio controls, so you can control the voice chat and the game audio separately, very similar to the Logitech headset. I think on this side, you, they give you a little uh, outline of how to set it up for the Xbox, which is essentially identical to the Logitech one. You plug the Xbox into the base station, you plug the controller into the headset, and you're good to go. So you're not technically completely wireless, but between you and the console, there's no wires. So that's not bad at all. And this is a stereo version of the Chimera. There's also a 5.1 channel version, but this one is just the stereo one. Although, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. I'll just take it to be a nice little, you don't have to cut it. Nice pull tab here. Cool. No need for a knife. It's always nice. There's some wires in the back. I'll check out those in a second. There might be more stuff in the back of that too. I'm not sure yet. We'll put it over to the side for now. Let's try to focus on one thing at a time. Get rid of this cover. Okay. How is this? Okay. So, this is the first thing to come out easily. We'll check out the headset first. There is material around the air cups and on the headband. It's a little bit softer than the Logitech wireless headset F540, so it may not make your head sore, but also it could get more dirty or beat up easier. It's hard to tell right now, it's too early. Here we have our microphone, our boom mic, as many other headsets have. It is pretty flexible, so it won't easily break, and it is detachable, however I'm not too sure how it comes apart yet. I don't want to force anything. This is the mute button for the microphone, and the power button for the headset. Checking out right here, here is the 2.5mm port for Xbox 360 voice chat. On the back side, you have volume controls. This volume controls for your microphone, so how loud do you want the mic volume. Here is how loud do you want uh, the game audio volume. So, still talking about game audio. We have our mute for the game audio, and the sync button. Checking out the middle, which might be a little bit hard to see, but I'm sure you can see the gold contacts right there. That's for the charging, so it'll easily just go on top of the wireless base station and you would start to charge if it were plugged in. The Razer logo is on top, a little bit hard to see with the glare, but it's there. And also, if you open this up, you get numbers and little line so you know exactly how far you've moved the each each ear cup so you can easily position each ear cup equally also usually the rechargeable batteries are built into the headset although these come separately there are two AAA batteries so you're gonna have to put in yourself and to do it it's kind of um, an odd place but they're gonna go under this panel here so you just kind of got to pop it off. There's no real easy way to do it. 
the top is from the easiest. And then here's your battery cover. So if we take this off, we would put our two AAA rechargeable batteries right in there. So it makes it easy if the batteries do stop charging, you can just go to the store probably and buy any other rechargeable batteries, I'm guessing. And you could just easily put them in there. But at the same time, it's kind of a different awkward design that not many other headsets share. So time will tell whether it's worth it or not. But you do get about 12 hours from a charge and that's pretty good, definitely pretty good. Check out the base station. There's nothing else in that black packaging there. So here is your base station. It's kind of hard to fit on the camera at once. Maybe if I just put it down, scoot it back or something. There you go. Do you have a couple of LED statuses here for, I believe, this is gonna be charging and I guess power too for the base. Interesting, we'll check that out later in the review. Flipping around on the back side. Let me try to get this closer so you guys can see it. We have a standby on off, our sync button, mic out, audio in, and power for the base station. So all kind of interesting things to put there. I wonder why they didn't use RCA plugs here. I'm guessing they're going to give us an RCA to, uh, this looks like a three and a half millimeter plug. So I'm guessing they're going to give us one of those. We'll find out about right now when we open this box of wires here, or whatever this might be. So there's some stuff. Let's get it all out. One more thing in there. All right. So since this is the last thing I took out, we'll mess with this first. Here's your power adapter. That's gonna be for your base station. Uh, they give you uh, one of these local adapters. So I'm guessing if they distribute this in other countries, Instead of having to make an entire new power supply, they just change that last piece out for, you know, like a Euro plug or something. So that will just snap in there. There's your power adapter. It is, it does go outwards. So if I had a power strip here and I plugged it in, it is gonna take room backwards, which is not always desirable, but you know, we've worked around that problem for years as computer people and gamers, so not a big deal. Here's your two and a half to two and a half millimeter audio cable from the Xbox controller to the Camera headset. And here is our RCA cable. I'm gonna go ahead and open this so you get a better look. This is essentially an RCA pass-through cable which the Logitech headset also came with. So you would plug your Xbox 360 audio into here and then you would plug this into your TV or receiver or wherever else that's gonna go, or in maybe nowhere, maybe it won't go anywhere. And then this end will plug into the base station of the Chimera, like so. Checking out the back of the box here, there's another thing here. It says, welcome to the cult of Razer. I'm not sure if you guys can see that with the sunlight and everything, but it's kind of inscribed on the box move this over really quick. I'm guessing in here is just going to be user manuals or things of the sort. So we get a very nice presentation here. Very slick. Taking this out. For gamers by gamers. That's what it says. You can open it here. Folds many different ways. It's just like a congratulations, there's no turning back. Welcome to the Call of Razor and a membership. So, all Razor specific things. And we have the Quick Start Guide, the Master Guide, and using your Razor Chimera. Just a simple how to hook it up. Anything else in here? I'll give you a couple stickers. If you like stickers, there you go. And it's a very nice manual, actually. Even though... I probably won't use it. And that wraps up the unboxing of the Razer Chimera wireless headset. Check out thinkcomputers.org for the complete written review. And thanks for watching.